Hey guys, Gus and Carlos from Hardware Unplugged and today we're checking out the Pulsar X Lite wireless mouse. But before we get started, please make sure to hit that like button to show support and if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe. With that being said, let's begin. Oh my god, you see what I did to those guys. The, sm the smackdown, dude. Okay, yeah, no, yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Come back. No, no I'm, I'm fighting, I'm fighting, it's okay, just help me out. I got him, I got him, I got him, worry about it. I got him. I got him, I got him, I got him, worry about it. I got him. I got both of them. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really liking this mouse. I'm really liking this mouse. Yo, did you look at me? Say Oh, wow, you got it. Pop there, pop there. 31, half line 1, half line 1. Oh, you, oh, you, oh, you. That's in the tip of the way. Oh my god, he got me down. He got me down. He got me down. There's another one, there's another one, there's another one. Coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up. Coming up, coming up. Coming up. Alright, so we're here with a review with the Pulsar X Lite Wireless. Now this is uh, Pulsar's wireless mouse. This is their, so they made a wired version of this. Was yeah. their Pulsar X Lite, right? Yeah, it's Ergo, the Ergo, yeah. right? And well, they made it wireless, right? So the wired version, I believe it was like somewhere around 48 grams, 9 grams, right? It's Not 48 grams, yeah, 48, 49 grams. That is very light. Yeah, very yeah. light. And this one weighs 59 grams. So it weighs about the same as a G Pro Wireless Superlight. How much super light? Super light, 60 grams. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, 60 grams. Okay, so this okay. is around the same weight. So we could argue and say that this is in one of one of these uh, extreme lightweight mice categories, right? Yes, for sure, okay. for sure, because it's really, really light. Yeah. So this shape takes, uh, it's uh, it's really similar to the EC2, Zawi EC2. So it's a Zawi EC2 clone, right? So this mouse is going to be more for like, I guess your palm grip, palm grippers or like claw grippers, because this mouse is fairly big. I don't see claw grippers. Big. I don't see. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't see fingertip uh, players using this mouse. No, I, I don't know. There's no way unless right. you're like eight foot. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. have big hands and stuff, yeah. right? Because this mouse is big, and I feel like for palming, it's gonna be really great, right? Yeah. yeah. And for clawing, like we're Relaxed seventeen claw by like nine. This, yeah. We actually play really good with it. We got away with it. Yeah. yeah so the sensor in this mouse, uh, the sensor uses a thirty three seventy, pretty damn good. Lift off distance is very very low. Yeah. Um. Clicks, it uses Kel 8.0s, which I actually like a lot. Now, they don't feel as good as the 8.0s I have in my modded G Pro Wireless, right? Yeah. That, but those are modded, they're hand, <laughs> uh, uh, freaking NC hand fine tuned them and stuff like that, so he knows what he's doing. And I like him a lot more in that G Pro Wireless than this one, but they're still better than fifth than the freaking uh, Kel, uh, no, I'm sorry, than freaking Armor 50 amps. Um, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and give you guys the sound test and stuff like that, but. So yeah, clicks are actually pretty good. Scroll wheel, it's really silent, right? Uh, DPI, the middle button, middle mouse button, right? I'm sorry, not middle mouse button, the the scroll wheel button. Yeah, scroll wheel, yeah, I'll see DPI <laughs> if, because it, if it actually feels pretty good, I like it. Yeah. Uh, there's no DPI button in this, everything's on software. So you yep. wanna change the DPI, you have to do it by software. Um, the software, you could uh, change, um, Pulling oh, ray lift off this. Yeah, you know, the own. usual. Oh, and this thing does not have RGB, but the LED indicator is a it's a RGB yeah. for DPI, mm -hmm. yeah. So you could change it to like red, and blue, and all kinds of colors. I thought it would just be like blue or yeah. something. Yeah, right? I know. Yeah, I don't same, know. Yeah, same. but it's actually yeah, RGB. Um, only two modes though: breathing and, and steady. Yeah, and yeah. Steady. So it doesn't yeah. cycle, right? But 
That being said, I don't think you need RGB on mice. Like, I don't Especially know. Especially if yeah. it's super light yeah, mice. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because yeah. the, uh, the Logitech mouse, that one doesn't have any exactly. RGB. Exactly, yeah, so, yeah. You know? Yeah, um, it does not have a compartment for the little USB dongle. Yeah. Um, so, I guess traveling-wise, it's going to be a little hard to kind of take it all in yeah. the full setup, right? But, I mean, who's really traveling, you know? Yeah, like, exactly. You know what I mean? Come on. Yeah. Even then, um, in the box, you do get a... Uh, paracord cable to recharge it usb type c it is usb type c by the way so yeah. thank you right um also um you do you do not get extra feet right um but you do but you do get the cable and you get the dongle extender which yeah i'm actually glad they included because freaking rock cat for some reason didn't include it on their freaking 135 dollar mouse they're freaking the big one i think it was rock cat or or yeah was, rocket was yeah, yeah rocket yeah, didn't yeah, include yeah, it yeah, rocket, include, rocket, rocket didn't didn't include, yeah shame on you yeah rocket. so that's actually pretty great to see yeah. from pulsar um Let's talk about where the experience with the mouse. So that's all the features, right? Yeah. Pretty good, right? So it's our experience with the mouse. So we've been using these mice for about, what, five, six days, right? Almost a week, right? Mm -hmm. Five days, ah. at least minimum five days, right? Yeah, yeah. Because we yeah. got a Tuesday. It's already Sunday. And then, yeah, you are, yeah, yeah. So oh, it's, right. it's been, oh, it's been like yeah, five you're, days. Oh, you're right. Yeah, it's been like yeah. five days. And dude, I had a freaking blast with this mouse. Dude, the whole time, dude. Okay, so you know how I have the freaking G Pro Super, uh, Superlane? Yes. That you were wireless super light. Yes. Okay, so that thing's 150 bucks, and I like that mouse. It's really lightweight, but 150 bucks, 150 bucks to me is like steep price, right? It really is. Dude. This really one, is. this one's is really light too. It's actually weighs just as uh, just as heavy as the freaking super light, and I like this mouse a lot. Um, so I had a, I had a blast with it. I had, I had a I had a, I had a really good time with it, and this mouse, dude, for the time that I had with it. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you. Well, how was your experience with the mouse? I enjoyed my time a lot. Like the feet are pretty good too. They're actually smooth. Mm. Like everything about this mouse is pretty good, right? Uh, I liked it. it there, I couldn't, I couldn't find a complaint on it. Um, yeah, the only issue that I did run into was that. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I started playing it with it out of the box, and I was like, "Why is it disconnecting on me?" But oh, yeah, I, I'm right, gonna, yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that it was because I didn't charge it right out of the box. Yes. So, so if you, so, so if you guys do manage to pick one of these up. Charge it out of the box and yeah. don't let it die on you mid game like it did to me. Yeah. Um, but even then, I don't even think that's a complaint. Of uh, everything from the mouse, from the coating, the switches to the build quality, this thing oh, is yeah. solid. No rattle at all. Oh yeah, dude. Extremely lightweight wireless mouse, dude. It hasn't started creaks the whole time we use it. Either. No, no. It, I'm telling this. This thing is built. You know what I mean? It's um, pretty good. It's to let good. you know, to let you know that whenever I was using it. Because it was so lightweight for me yeah. to use, it really didn't feel all that big in my hand for some reason. Yeah, it's, it, it's like it really didn't. I don't yeah. know if, if the weight does something to my brain or it tricks you yeah. some, somewhat. It didn't really feel that big in my hand. Obviously, yes, it is a big shape, and I'm not saying that small hands should yeah. definitely buy it, you know, because I think they're yeah. gonna have you know like a little rough time, right? Yes. Uh, trying to use it, but that lightweight on the big shape dude. is a game changer, dude. Yes. Um, how much is the mouse? Okay, so. So we, we're talking so good about this mouse, right? You expect it to be like up in the hundreds, right? Yep. Okay, so this mouse is under a hundred bucks. This mouse, you get it on their website for seventy four ninety five. So I believe right? like seventy five bucks. Seventy five ninety right? four something. Yeah. So it's like it's bucks, under basically. eighty bucks. Yeah. So, you, so this mouse, dude. So it weighs it weighs under it weighs sixty grams, right? It has a really good sensor. The feet are actually upgraded because remember one of the complaints I actually had with the wired version was that the feet on the they were like on the they edges they really were like sharp. Rounded off. Yeah, they were rounded These off. These are like dude, you could even tell. Look, yes, they you look can really even good. tell they are really rounded off. Even even the little details like the PCB on this, like on the for the black one is colored yeah. black and then white, and then on the white one is like mostly white, white and, and black. black. Like yeah. I don't know, like Pulsar, the things that have been coming out recently. Oh, even. Oh, you've been using that. Even you've been using their mouse pad too, right? The freaking the the para control. Yes. Para I forgot what you yes. got, but even there, dude. The things that Pulsar have been coming out this past year, because we discovered them this year. Like this sent us a keyboard. We're like, yeah, sure, let's go ahead and you know give them a give them a try and do it. Yeah. Since then, like all their products they've been releasing, dude. Bangers. They've been bangers, dude. They've been bangers, bangers. and Thank man, I ain't gonna lie, dude. It's quality, and it's price very competitively like what else can you ask for for the price honestly for 75 bucks what more can you ask for 
I'm just gonna go ahead and say this. This mouse is actually so good. It is main worthy. It is. Like it is main. It, this lot. mouse gives the Logitech Superlight a run for its money. Yeah, it it gives a lot of current wireless mice out right now a run for its a, a run it's for a, its, its money. It's, it's a good budget it's, mouse. It's, it's a good budget mouse. I feel like this mouse is gonna be super underrated. I, I, would, I, I wouldn't be surprised like, if, it starts, if it gets if it gets popular in the coming months and stuff. This, like, it's pretty good. It baffles me how good the quality on these mice are, how lightweight it is. It's also balanced really well too. Like, yeah, you know how the wire version has a cable sticking out. Yep. Okay, so that one felt more out of balance because of the cable it was yeah. heavier. So this is actually feels pretty good. Now it's wireless and doesn't have cable. Actually, feels, it's not balanced that off. Like it's a it's little, not that off. it's like a it, little off center. It's a little front heavy, but just a little bit. Like it's not like nothing crazy, like a ponish no, symmetrical. Not nothing like that. Off. Nothing like that. Um, side buns, I guess, are like the only things that do that do oh, have yeah. a little bit of a post travel, I guess, and little. Yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah. They have pre travel. They have no post travel. Look at the post. Look. Oh no, you're right. Post travel. You know yeah. what I mean? Pre travel are really minimal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Post travel, they are kind of there. Uh, but again, I, I. Yeah. If, if I had to nitpick something, I guess it will it will it will be that. Yeah, so there you clicks. go. Yeah, if anything, yeah. But even then, like, they're not K-O creaking or anything like K-O that. Eight like, dude. Yeah. This 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 puts a lot of mice, current mice, like to shame. Honestly, yeah. this is what I've seen mice. too. Because yeah. Pulsar, what they're doing is now, if another company wants to come into the mice scene, right? That'd or if more. big brand companies want to come into the mice scene, start making wireless mice, you know, Pulsar's kind of being like, hey, you know. What else you got? Yeah, <laughs> you know they give another like, people run for its money, yeah. and that's good. It's good for the competition. It's good yeah. for us. So it's good for us. Yeah, exactly. It's good for you too. Yeah. So yeah, it's pretty much it, honestly. Yeah, it's pretty much it, guys. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Links to everything will be down below. This is Gus and Carlos from Hardware Unplugged, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.